Men who chased after a woman who didn't seem that interested. What was the end result? End result was consoling myself that there's a lot of fish in the sea. There are plenty of fishes in the sea, and I'm a sea cucumber that shits and eats. There is also a lot of trash in the sea. Lots of expensive dates ending with a handshake telling me I was a nice guy. Ten tenths wouldn't recommend. I had this just recently. Just came out of a long relationship and started dating again. So a few growing pains. We had three dates that went amazing. Including cooking together and talking until 2 a.m. Then she says, you're great but I need to admit I don't see anything romantic here. I don't feel nervous around attractive women and speak to them as if they were normal people. Left me wondering if I'm being too friendly. I won't chase though. Go next. Don't do that. You deserve to feel wanted. Plus you're probably not gonna go about it the best way anyway if she's not interested. It's a surefire way to end up hating women and blaming them for being cold and takers. Yeah. No shit. You chose those women yourself. No shit. They wanted nothing to do with you from the start. Like grabbing a hot pan and being mad it burned you. This is truth itself. It's just not a good look. It's sorta like breaking your own heart. Besides. Don't chase. Attract. Yup. Like deep down you know you are heading to a dead end, but you remind yourself she's worth it. But she never is, and ultimately you end up looking pathetic as she eats away at your respect. Pathetic is exactly how she sees you too when you do this. I told her it was obvious we weren't going anywhere and that, while it had been nice chatting with her it was time to go our separate ways. I don't chase women anymore. I'm too old. Seriously. Feeling that. In my 40s now and just completely done with chasing women and dating in general. I like my life the way it is, and if I meet someone I like, and I want to see them again I will. I'm not opposed to the idea of meeting someone. I'm just done with first dates, and asking someone's favorite color or what music they listen to. I have only chased two women in my life and both didn't seem interested initially. Initially is the important word here. One just ignored me. The second one is mother of my two daughters. Lesson learned. It may work or not. So you're saying 50 over 50. I like those odds. On a separate note my wife chased me for 10 years. So now we are right up there on positive data points. I kept changing parts of myself to mold myself into who she wanted. And never got the girl. And completely lost myself in the process. With my ex I tried to be everything she wanted. Liked long hair and beard so I grew it out. Liked a certain style of clothing. So I dressed that way. I was miserable. I'm a pretty eccentric. And goofy guy. Anytime I'd act like myself she'd call me weird. And tell me to act a certain way. Would correct me in public. And group settings. Took me 4 years to break it off. After that I promised myself I'd never change who I'm for someone. Of course there's thing I want to improve. And better about myself that I feel are negative. That isn't changing though that's growth. Well that is change lol, but you get what I mean. Then I reconnected with someone I was into years before. But I was younger slash not ready for something serious. Was too focused on partying. And seeking sex. Drove 4 states over to see her after not seeing her for over 5 years. I was nervous that she would want to change who I'm like my ex. Ends up I was myself. And she loves it. Everything that annoyed my ex ended up being what the other woman loved about me. And now she's my fiancé. It isn't worth being something else for someone. If they truly love you, they'll like the genuine you. I haven't had this personally, but a close friend of mine at work, who's a woman had a guy chasing her for ages she'd always tell everyone about how often he was asking her out. She didn't find him massively attractive or funny etc. And he was redheaded, and she always said I don't want redheaded kids, anyway. Fast forward 6 years they live together, and have 2 redheaded kids. Same thing happened to my aunt. Her, now, husband asked her out multiple times at the beginning, and she said no each time. He was a part of the friend group and very kind and quiet. She was more of a wild child, and wasn't attracted to him at first. Now they're attracted at the hip as husband and wife. Ran out of breath, after about 100 meters, 
Better start working out Bundy. She was one of the first to ever shut me down. I figured I had no chance with her. So we eventually became best friends. A year later I realized that I still wasn't over her. So I confessed but prioritized our friendship between dating and marriage. We've now been together 20 plus years. We are now married for 2 years. Great success. Despite her still not being interested, well the not interested changed eventually obviously. But it took time and patience. I ended up asking her flat out to get it over with and start moving on. She rejected me OFC. But I really wanted to at least stay friends with this person. Apparently I was mature and dealt with it really well and she asked me out a month later, luckily before I moved on. So what is the situation now? He's married. What do you think? As a shift from some of these stories. My friend did that 4 years and eventually he kinda lost interest. Which made the girl interested. And it ended with him finding another awesome girl and the chaste girl became basically a stalker lol. Why is it when the dude loses interest then the girl wants him? It doesn't even seem genuine lol. Because if you were to show interest back it'd be back to before. People want what they can't have. Especially if other people want it. Something I'm coming to terms with is that a lot of the time with women, the things that shouldn't work, often work. She told me she wasn't looking for a relationship, but had a crush on me. Said she was falling for me, but she wanted it to be strictly casual, because she wanted to be single. She was sleeping around with other guys at the same time as sleeping with me, but I stayed loyal. There were some nights I talked to her about my feelings whilst she was in bed with another dude. I dk why I waited, but I did, even though it kinda hurt. But as soon as I got accustomed to casual, and when I started seeing other people, she wanted to be exclusive with me. We only dated for a few months, before she broke up with me saying she just wasn't ready to give someone a relationship. So it hurt, but I don't regret any of it. I'm stuck between wondering if I actually was an option to her because of her sleeping around at the same time, or if she was truly pining after me. Regardless, I'm done chasing. I really want to experience a love where I don't have to chase or go above all just to experience reciprocation. Three years ago I was drinking with my buddies at a home party. As parties usually go, we got quite drunk. At some point two cute girls arrived, and I convinced myself that I wanted to try my luck with one of the girls. She looked pretty and seemed cute. Obviously, she didn't appreciate my advances as she had a boyfriend. Of course. Being as drunk as I was this never registered, and kept on low-key nagging her. She had no interest. Both of them decided to leave for a bar nearby, and of course, I followed. Eventually they shook me off, and I went back to the party. I should note that I wasn't inappropriate at any point. Anyhow, a couple of months went by, and me and my buddies went to the opening of a random new cafe in a random town. Funny enough, the same girl I had been nagging earlier was there. After the cafe trip I invited her over my place with my buddies to paint 3D printed Pokemon figurines. She revealed to me that she had broken up with her boyfriend some time before as well. After some time doing activities together such as hiking, we started to try our luck and got together. Today we live together and just had our first baby last month and are going to get married next year. Funny how random life can feel sometimes. I guess a takeaway from my story is one should embrace life's randomness and simply try one's luck. Edit. Corrected dumb time to some time. Currently chasing my college crush. We started chatting for a few months after I wished her happy birthday. Did it every year for 7 years and this time she actively replied and we exchanged phone numbers. We just met for the first time after years. So I'm probably digging my own grave here, but wish me luck guys. Good luck. Thanks bro. We have been married for 6 years and going strong. Turns out she was horrible at picking up cues. <laughs> she didn't seem interested. But I felt something there. Took a huge chance. She'd been interested. I'm writing this next to her. 5 years married. <laughs> Asked her out twice in 3 months. And we did have a great chemistry. Got rejected both of those times. With the same reason that she isn't ready for a relationship. So, I went on a solo trip. 
hooked up with a bunch of girls and actually started dating someone I met on a trip, came back, told her everything about it, and I said that it's nice that I'm dating and we can be friends without it being awkward, that she must be relieved. Her reply, what I'm feeling, is far from relief. Fast forward a couple of months and we hooked up last week. Chased her for 6 months playfully in college, wasn't creepy or weird. We were just good friends, but I wanted more. The minute I moved on she reciprocated feelings and we ended up dating for 2 years. Longest relationship I had, until I met my wife, not her. My wife and I instead clicked immediately, met her on match, went on our first date and didn't order food for 2 hours bc we kept talking, tipped the waiter well to offset it haha. Minute I saw her I knew a man marry that girl, indeed married that girl. She rocks. Life is best when you don't sweat the petty stuff. Pet the sweaty stuff. Still chasing her. Three blocks down so far. I'll update in a while. I never gave up and we ended up dating and were together for two years. Worth. I married her. She has my kids. We've never looked back. After six months of trying to get a date, it finally happened. We've been married for 15 years now. Proud of you, man. My wife shot me down the first time I asked her out. We talked for 8 months before she ever went out on a date with me. Yesterday was our 8th wedding anniversary. We have a 7 year old and have been together for a decade now. I would absolutely do all of it again if I got the chance. I knew she was the one the very first time I saw her. The gym. She tired at about the 300 meter mark. Disappointment. Married.